welcome back now we are going to start a discussion on locating for machines in other than lathes and particularly here we will focus on how we can locate a workpiece on on a milling and a cnc machine but of course the discussion will be generic and it, it can be extended to other machines as well so in machine tools like drilling boring milling planing etc the job remains fixed during machining so it is to be held in a fixture or a chuck during machining so fixtures are mostly used in these machine tools and jigs especially for drilling reaming tapping so for drilling machines uh, we are uh, designing jigs for repeatedly making or modifying the holes and for other machines like milling planing broaching grinding etc we are designing fixtures so for machining in these jigs and fixtures the blank is located in several ways as will be discussed in the following slides but before that there are few terms and guidelines that should be kept in mind so the term locator and support are used interchangeably when the device used under a workpiece is discussed and locating devices used to reference the edges of a workpiece are also called stops so both support and stop are actually locators but these locators are sometimes called a support and sometimes they are called stop so before choosing a support or a locator the tool designer must consider the shape and surface of the part and the type of clamping devices to be used so the locator selected must be strong enough strong enough to resist both the clamping pressure and the cutting forces we will see once we will discuss the clamping methods that there are two types of forces that we have to encounter one is the clamping force that is exerted on the blank and second is the cutting force that is generated during machining so we have to make sure that the locating devices are strong enough to to resist both these forces so clamps should be posi positioned directly over the supports to avoid distorting or bending the part so the the locators in addition to locating the part in the required orientation must be able to to resist the forces that are generated during the uh, during the machining operation so that is important point that we will discuss in some some detail once we will discuss the clamping devices so there are three methods uh, for locating the workpiece in machines other than lathes first is locating from flat surfaces so if we have a flat surface on the part that is to be located that should be used as a locating surface so we can locate a part from this flat surface using two types of locators we have solid locators and we have adjustable locators so we will discuss both of these so first the solid locators these locators are used when a machine surface acts as a locating point so if we have a perfectly flat surface that has been uh, finished using maybe a milling or a grinding operation then we use solid supports these supports are called solid supports because they are they are fixed so they can be either machined into the tool base or they can be installed in a hole uh, in the base of the Uh, base of the fixture or jig so here are some examples so we have this work piece so that has this flat surface this bottom that has already been machined so this work piece is being located through the surface using a solid locator that is inserted into the uh, body of a fixture so this is uh, this locator is locating the work piece from from bottom so that is also called a support in this case again this is the workpiece and this is the flat surface or machined surface on the workpiece through which it is being located 
this is the locator that is again inserted into the uh, body of the fixture, but that is locating the part from, from the side or the edge. So it is sometimes also called a stop. And same is in this case, this is the workpiece and this is the machine surface through which it is being located using a locator that is inserted into the body of the fixture and the part is being located from an edge. So this locator is sometimes also called a stop. And here are some other examples. So one point that you might notice is that there are different designs of the, of the heads of these locators that are available. So you can refer to the machinery handbook or any book on tool design for different designs of these these heads and um, their benefits. And this one shown in the middle is actually basically an adjustable locator that we will discuss in the next slide. So still, in fact, we will continue the discussion on solid locator. So here is another example. So we, we, we are having a part that is located and supported through two locators in this case, one from bottom, other from side. And uh, this is also called a locator or a support and this one, a locator or a stop. Both are actually fixed in, into the body of the fixture. So that is why they are called fixed locators or solid locators. But you should keep in mind that these locators do not necessarily to be pins or similar devices, but we can use the surface of, of the body of the fixture for, for this purpose as well. So we have machined uh, two surfaces on the body of the fixture such that they are acting as, as locators. So again, this is the machined surface of the part through which it is being located using this surface on the body of the fixture uh, that has already been machined into, into the shape of the fixture. And same is true about this, this bottom locating surface. So we can have installed fixed stop locators or they can be machined fixed stop locators. So this is the example we saw once we discussed three to one principle. So these three pins at the bottom, two on the side and one on the other side are examples of solid locators and they are fixed into the body of the fixture. So the bottom are three supports, three pins uh, at the bottom are supporting uh, the workpiece. So they are also called supports and these two blue colored and this one are also called locators or stops. Now this milling wise that is available in different shapes actually is a fixture in a way because uh, this surface and this bottom act as, as locating surfaces. If we are having a workpiece like this that has flat surfaces and uh, uh, that is to be, for example, machined at the tops, then this, this surface on the workpiece that is a flat surface and this bottom surface of the workpiece they are the locating surfaces and of course this end of the fixture where the workpiece is con uh, contacting the vise on this side and this bottom surface of this vise, uh, they are actually the solid supports or solid locators actually that are locating this workpiece. So if, if we have to perform a finishing operation or, or, or what we call face milling at the at top of this workpiece, then this is actually being located properly in the required orientation because we need a datum that is actually the bottom of the vise that is uh, positioning the workpiece uh, properly as well as this end of the of the vise. So we can call for such workpieces this milling vise to be. In fact, we have some modifications of this milling vise uh, where. Uh, we make some changes uh, to suit different shapes of workpiece. So that is called a milling fixture that is slightly different. But in this case, these two surfaces are acting as locators. And this, this side, once actuated through this lever, moves in and out 
to hold the workpiece so as a whole both functions locating and clamping are being performed this way so we can call it to be a standard fixture just like three dot chuck and poly chuck or or a mandrel on a lathe so in this case again we don't have sort of pins but we are having solid surfaces to locate the workpiece Second type of locators that are used to locate the workpiece from a flat surface are adjustable locators. So these are used for locating a workpiece whose surface is rough or uneven, such as a workpiece that is made using some casting operation, just like sand casting. It is normally used with one or more solid locators to allow any adjustment needed to level the work. So for example, if you're using four locators, then three of those four might be solid or fixed and one might be adjustable. There are three types of adjustable locators. They are threaded, spring, or push types. Now the threaded style is the easiest and most economical, and it has a larger adjustment range than the other two types. So here are some examples. So basically here we are using the threads on the body of these locators to, to adjust their position up and down depending upon the variation in the surface of the part that is being located. And you can see that there are different designs available for these locators. And again, for details, you can refer to, to the machinery's handbook. And there are different ways to lock these into the body of the fixture this this one this is the fixture body in this case a separate lock security is being used to lock this locator into the position and uh, so you can go for the details of the design using uh, some reference handbook so workpiece will be resting at the top somewhere over here and depending upon the variation in the, the surface of the workpiece we can adjust the position of this this adjustable locator apart from threaded types we can have spring type and adjustable type locators as well so in this case here the workpiece will be resting so this is the range of variation in the uh, in the locator so we are having actually a spring so it can move up and down depending upon the variation in the surface of the workpiece and then we can after the workpiece settles on this locator we can lock this at uh, this spring in position so here from here you can get a better idea this is the spring here we will place the workpiece and once the workpiece settles we can lock the locator in position and we can have the adjustable locator that are push type so again the workpiece will be resting on this locator so depending upon the variation at the bottom of the workpiece we can uh, fix this locator in position by pushing it in either of the directions so this is having a a uh, wedge shape so this locator can move up and down and once the workpiece settles we can lock it through this screw so of course there can be many other possibilities uh, on the design of push type or spring type or threaded locators but the main idea here is that depending upon uh, the variations in the uh, in the the uh, size of the uh, bottom of the workpiece in these cases, we can use adjustable locators, practically in combination with some solid locators. So I repeat, if you are locating a workpiece from bottom and you, you are using say three points, then two of those uh, pins might be fixed and the third might be adjustable. So in that way, you can have some flexibility in locating a workpiece. Uh, using two types of locators.